Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, my last video, So You Want to Be a Wet Shaver Part 2, the lingo, uh, my friend Christian out in Victorville, he pointed out that I did that a lot. Um, I apologize if it was annoying, I didn't even realize I was doing it. So, anyhow, it's been a couple of days since I had a shave, just got out of the shower, um, whiskers and noggins nice and hydrated. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish up our series, which you might have guessed from the, the title, but we're going to finish up our razor shootout. Um, the left side of my face will be the 1959 second quarter or E2 Gillette 195 adjustable or commonly known as the fat boy it's going to run on settings 987 and that's going to be on the left side of the face or the right side of the nose and on the other side of the face it's going to be the 1956 I can't remember which quarter B whatever date code B whatever Gillette red tip HD Double-edged safety razor. The brush is going to be the purest satin tip. Oh, real quick before I forget. Ah, damn. Real quick before I forget, two shout-outs. One, um, I've got three new subscribers. Two, I got notified who they were. One, um, whoever you are, welcome. You're... Um, Subscriptions are set to private, so I didn't get notified. Um, but the two that I did get notified of are Sam Siegel and Ed James. Welcome, Ed. Welcome, Sam. Welcome to the mystery subscriber. Anyhow, uh, I went ahead, joined Chevette World, went ahead, introduced myself, Mentioned that I was, uh, you know, blind and that I had a YouTube channel and stuff. Next thing I know, I get, you know, free subscriptions. Uh, so, you know, good news for me. Anyways, I hope you all have been doing well. I hope you all enjoyed the last video. Um, so, let's go ahead and let's move forward. The soap I'm going to be using is K Shave Works Hump Day. Mm, one of my favorite soaps. I absolutely love the scent. So, you know, it's Tuesday night. Hopefully I'll get posted tomorrow that way. So I'll be using Hump Day on Hump Day, <laughs> so to speak. And um, the blades in those razors are on their fourth use. Um, and they are Gillette Silver Blues. Anyways, so let me get a drink in my sippy cup. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's get started here. Yep. Oh, I forgot something here. Anyways, let me wet my face or wet the brush and load her up. I haven't used this satin tip in a while. Um, it's actually mainly my travel brush. Um, because it come, you know, I got it, it came with a little cardboard tube, uh, for traveling. Um, in case you're new to my channel, I don't blend my soap. Um, nice thing about these satin tips, or these s synthetics, which, God, I love the scent of this hump day. Um, hmm. I was going to use some, uh, some of my Planet 9 sample, but I figured, what the heck, it's been a while since I used Hump Day, so, figure what the hell. But the thing I like about using the satin tip for a travel brush, not only it's got that little cardboard tube, but I mean, synthetic brushes, they just, they dry really, really, really quick. Hello. 
God dang. Dang, get my face wet. Grab the old mystery shaving gel. Where it goes, nobody knows. Where it comes from. No one has figured it out. Um, oh, damn. This is just some lather that fell off the brush. So. Me and my girlfriend just got done watching The Walking Dead. Um, a few days late, but you know, uh, we're patient. We got a DVR. We got a four year old. We can't watch The Walking Dead in front of, of course. He would absolutely flip. So. Um, But that is one of our absolute favorite shows. Um, one moment. Mm, my girlfriend's watching um, Sister Wives. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the show. I really aren't, ain't. I'm really not. But she likes it, so. And one of the wives was crying for whatever reason, I don't know. But, uh, for a second, I was like, who's crying? So. tips on your satin tip black fiber brush that ain't quite a little, little bit of water brush into it they ain't quite satin um, when you Compare it to, oh, I don't know, a Plasoft. Never had a Plason. But when you compare it to a Plasoft or a Maggart's Knot or a Tuxedo Knot. But, is what it is. It was my first synthetic. So, since it was my end, when I got it, I was used to, I didn't even have a badger brush yet. I just had, you know, a couple of boar brushes. I had a couple of Vanderhagen boar brushes. And, uh, all right, left side of the face. We're going with the fat boy. The soapy fat boy <laughs> on nine. But, you know, I got this satin tip and I was like, oh, this, this is great. This is, this feels wonderful and all that stuff. And, you know, cutting really nice. But, uh, you know, I thought, oh, this is great, this is great. Compared to my boar brush, this is wonderful. So, I thought that
it was pretty much the shit so to speak um, it was definitely softer than a boar bristle but you know then I got my Plasoft my first you know Plasan style synthetic you know, I got that plus soft and it was like um, the next time yeah I'd say that um on nine that boy feels very similar to the red tip. Definitely, definitely, definitely very, very close. So, uh, I uh, use that Razor Rock plus all. And I was like, wow, this thing is really, really soft. Yeah, that, that, oh, let's see. I think I missed a spot right there. There. Residual slickness on this, this case shave work soap is just great. Uh, let's fill around. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty close, pretty close so far. So, lather up for pass two. Let me get some more on my face. Add a little bit of moisture. But first time I used this satin tip after using the Plasoft for about a week. I went ahead and started using it, and I was like, whoa. I pulled it back away from my face, and I was like, did I grab, did I grab one of my boards, or did I grab one of those Vanderhagen boards by mistake? Because I thought I grabbed a board by mistake. And I checked it. No, this is, this is the purest. This is the satin tip. So... But, you know, I like it. But, uh, so, I'll keep it in my arsenal, so to speak. Now, I did once see a post that one guy made, I forget which page, but he had a purist satin tip and he was in the middle of using it and the knot fell out and of course that's never a good thing, but he comments that maybe Maybe he'd let Peter Wolf go ahead and, you know, send him on and have Peter Wolf put it in one of his handles and Peter Wolf was like, nope, no, I will not put one of those knots in my handle. I mean, and, you know, that's, that's Peter's choice. Um, he just didn't like the way the, the knot was constructed, I guess. I can't remember exactly what, but you know what? I can respect that because, I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of like 
going across the grain on setting eight. And it feels really nice as well. Now, here on my neck, I'll go up or across. You know, it's going against the grain right smack in the middle, but you know. Yeah, this silver blues are not quite dragging yet. I mean, I can tell they're not as keen as they were four shades ago, you know, two, three shades back, but are on the first shade. So no. I don't push a blade. I mean. I think that's one thing I had to adjust to. Um, when I first got into this hobby was don't push your blade. <laughs> so, because um, I was used to, you know, going ahead and seeing if I could get a few extra shades. Even, even out of the cheap disposables and um because it was like man at this rate because i've got really coarse whiskers um and these silver blues are about my longest lasting blades as far as numbers of shaves i can get comfortably but um uh, I uh, push a blade and it was like nope don't want to do that so I learned relatively quick don't push a blade um so yeah so let's see Mm, pretty close again. Really, really close. Oops, let's get this pot up there. Really close again. So, um, I mean, with the blue tip. And even a little bit with the flare tip. Not as bad with the flare tip. But really with the blue tip, I mean, the efficiency dropped off really, really fast. Um, when I was going from three down to two and then to one, I mean, that efficiency just, I mean, it went down quick. Um, the flare tip, not as much. And definitely not, not hardly anything noticeable with this red tip versus the fat boy you know with the fat boy and of course if you've been into this hobby for a while you know the story behind the Gillette adjustables and the blue tips flare tips red tips all that crap or all that stuff Mm -hmm. So, but uh, yeah, like I was saying, Peter Wolf just, he, no, I'm not putting one of those knots in my brush handle, and yeah, it's, you know, it's his name going on brushes, so, you know, if he doesn't want to do it, then, you know. That's cool. Eight, seven. It's kind of like, you know, if I was building a custom car, or, you know, doing a custom refurb, you know, restore, restoring a car, doing a custom job, I sure as heck against the grain on seven. 
I sure as heck wouldn't go down to Walmart and buy a set of plastic caps, hubcaps. So, going against the grain here. This fat boy's got pretty decent audio feedback. I like it. Um, so, any of you guys out there looking forward to WrestleMania? getting the network and put it on our, what do you call it, our Roku. Because um, I'm a wrestling fan and, you know, invite my brother, he's a wrestling fan, invite him over. So, kind of interested in Seeing how uh, Braun Strowman, if he gets a partner or if he's just going to go alone against Sheamus and Cesaro the bar. Oh man, I went the wrong way on the neck. Pretty good though. This little right there I've got to clean up. But uh. production but you know um, people pay good money to go to the circus too so Okay, so I'm going to rinse off really good here and um, go ahead and see uh, what's up. Be back in a minute. Okay, so let's see. No? Yo, yeah, I'm happy with that. Got a little spot right there. Um, But, a little spot right there. I know, I know, I didn't use the fat boy on that little cleanup spot right there on the left. But, oh well. Um, yeah, that's... Oh, one little buff spot right here that I need to do. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Um, other than that, yeah, that's... Here, a couple little spots. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Um, yeah, the... That one, uh, red tip. Um, there's not much of a change from, you know, 9 to 8 to 7, so... Um, so yeah, um, it stays well within the parameters of the red tip. So, anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut away here. 
and I'm going to go ahead and shave my head and I'll be back for the post and my final thoughts on this little uh, razor shootout experiment. Anyways, see y'all in a minute. Alright folks, another great shave in the books. Um, my thoughts on the um, Red Tip versus Fat Boy. Pretty much, um, they're pretty much dead on with each other. Uh, from seven, between seven, eight, and nine, there wasn't much of a variation between the three settings that was noticeable to me. Your mileage may vary, as they say. Um, but dropping down from nine down to seven, the, the efficiency didn't drop off, you know, at all, really. Um, both razors give me a good close shave. Um, great head shave. Very happy with 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 it all the way around. The brush, eh, not as not as not as luxurious as um, my High Mountain White Whip Dog or my Plusoft or my Tuxedo Knot Knot or my Maggard's brush. A um, little scratchy, closer to bore. So, to me, I kind of think of it as a synthetic bore. Um, but, you know, great little brush. I mean, you load it up with soap and it holds, I mean, it holds a lot of suds. Um, the soap, everything you want in the soap. Okay, shave works, hump day, absolutely wonderful, beautiful scent. Uh, very enjoyable scent. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the matching aftershave but I mean just all around everything you want in soap like I said cushion slickness glide residual slickness it's just all there ease of lather everything it's just it's a great soap um, the blades you know four shaves uh, gonna be banking them ain't gonna go any farther ain't gonna risk it so you know um, Gillette Silver Blues. If you ain't tried them, give them a try. And if you want a good place, the cheapest place I found Gillette Silver Blues by the sleeve, where you get a hundred, well, hundred blades. Cheapest I found a hundred blades was RazorsDirect.com. Everything has got free shipping, and a hundred blades is twenty bucks. Um, so you know, give it a try. Their shipping's a little bit longer than than some might like, but yeah, give Razors Direct. A try they got a lot of stuff there um, but yeah all in all wonderful shave two thumbs up definitely so let's go on to the post of course Dickinson's witch hazel a little bit of a sting a little bit of a tingle but not bad A little more. Seems when you're bald, at least for me, I tend to use a little more witch hazel. Oh, honestly, I don't know. Uh, you know, um, been using witch hazel my entire wet shaving career, so to speak. So, and I've been shaving my head a lot longer than I've been wet shaving. Gillette, um, Nivea, Sensitive, Cooling Balm. I love this stuff. It doesn't take a lot. Um, not at all, not saying that I don't always get a lot, um, you know, that I don't overdo it from time to time with the bomb. Mm -hmm. A couple little spots I missed on my head, but, you know, what the hell. Good enough for government work, so to speak. Ah. Uh, 
By the way, 406, where are you, man? Um, I ain't seen anything from you in a long time, dude. I know you got a new baby and, and all, and I mean, you know, I can understand. I was a new father for a while at one time. Um, I just hope you're doing good. Um, you know, I haven't even seen you comment on any of my videos of late. Um, you just kind of dropped, dropped off the radar, you know, so, um, I hope, I hope, I hope you're okay, dude. Yeah, that's some good stuff. And the aftershave is Brute Green. Uh, I love the smell of this stuff. It don't quite match the hump day, but what the hell, you know? Hmm. It's got some burn to it though, I'll tell you what. I just wish this stuff lasted longer. Call Saw Kim's first. He uh, did a video. I didn't get a chance to check it out. Something came up. I had to stop the video. Right after he announced what Aftershave is going to be using. In that video. It was one of his last couple of videos he posted. But he is using polo green. I mean, I knew they made a polo red, a polo blue. Never knew they made a green. So, yeah, I definitely want to go ahead and one of these times, if I can ever get it, I want to try try some polo. Um, blue, red, and green. It's a little expensive, though, from what I, if I remember correctly. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's the shave. Um, like I said, great shave all the way around. Very happy with it. Um, I had fun doing this shootout series. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, you know, and other, you know, the blue tip, not so much, but the flare tip and red tip, uh, pretty much the, the fat boy nails them. Nails them pretty close. Um, the only reason why it doesn't quite nail the blue tip is because the aggression, the efficiency for me drops off so quickly with the blue tip when you go from three to two to one. Um, but you know, uh, the blue tip is the most mild super speed, is pretty much the most mild of super speed you can get. Uh, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the series. I hope you all been doing great. Um, sorry I've been away for as long as I have, but I'm back, <laughs> hopefully for a while. Anyways, um, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Uh, once again, shout out to the three guys I mentioned at the end, of, at the beginning of the video. Um, Sam Siegel, I, believe, I might have just screwed up his name, but Sam, Ed, and the new guy. Um, that I don't know <laughs> who, you know, I didn't get a notification of who he is. But anyways, welcome guys. Um, you ever have any questions, just Lance 59 at gmail.com. All lowercase, no spaces. Anyways, y'all have a good one. Have some great shaves. And I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.